What's up, Guild Warriors? It's episode 8. I'm Syrif, and with me is Sean Buell. We've got the event that's going to kick off the Hammerfest weekend. This is Server Stop episode 8 with Jonathan Chaplin Sharp and John Corbening from ArenaNet, and uh, they're going to be leading our teams. So, Sean, how are you doing today, man? Hey, I'm doing great, man. I'm ready to see some of our favorite ArenaNet developers smack down on each other. On each other, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a great. We're going to do a best of five this week, at just uh, because we didn't get to do a show last week. Everyone was recovering from MLG Anaheim. Everyone was having a good time there as well. So we're going to come now with a longer episode for you guys to supplement that. But first, we've got some stuff to cover. Um, first, I'm very happy to announce that we are partnered now with IntoTheMist.com, and they're going to be the ones, uh, our main sponsor for this show. For now, uh, as you can see, the logo is in like the lower right-hand corner or lower left-hand corner of your screen. Um, so they're a community sponsor, and uh, they're they're going to be helping us bring the show to more people than ever, and it's going to be amazing. If you haven't checked out their site, you need to do that right now. Go to IntoTheMist.com and uh, check out their skill calculators, their forums, and their video section. They're all amazing places. They're all amazing resources, and you can use that to uh, learn some PvP or learn Guild Wars 2 in general. It's really great. And uh, second, as I said, we're kicking off Hammerfest weekend with this event, and that's a whole bunch of events lined up from reddit.com slash r slash gw2 esports uh sean why don't you tell us more about that so going on right now we have hammerfest this is going to be the first thing launching off the event we have server stomp today uh throughout the weekend we're going to have tons of custom arenas all labeled hammerfest where you can go and play and throughout the weekend we're actually having a contest where uh you can go into those arenas or if you already have any recorded footage, uh, you can make a montage showing your coolest things you've done on Hammerfest. If you have sick bringouts, if you have these ultra laser kills, you know, combine those in a montage. Uh, get it submitted by Monday, and then the most uploaded ones by Wednesday, you're going to get yourself 800 gems, get some custom arena time, get some Aether Blade armors. It's going to be awesome. Tomorrow, we're going to have some high-level scrims all played on uh, Hammerfest on Saturday on uh, Skyhammer. And you can check that out. And Sunday, we're going to have our community draft night where you can jump on TeamSpeak with us and you can play custom uh, games with tons of members from the community. And it's going to be epic. Absolutely. Now, don't forget, you can also win gems from this video. I've got 40 bucks in gems to give away. That's like, what, 3,200 gems? All you have to do is just comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll just send those your way. Of course, that's a randomized thing. Make sure you are subscribed to me. I will be checking that. I will be checking that you uh, did comment as well. It's kind of how I go through that. But, uh, Sean, let's go ahead and get into this game. Let's have these people ready up um, and go on into it. So... As you can see, on the red team, we have our team from Chaplin. We've got Eugene Kingsley, 01, that's how you say that guy's name, apparently, from the clan Lagger Tag, one of the uh, better teams. Uh, not better teams, newer teams, sorry. We've got Harry, Blue, the Exemplar, and Chaplin Warrior. Chaplin, of course, is our team, our team captain from ArenaNet. On the blue side, we've got Logopi, the captain from Arena Net, I will lead you all, or known also known as God from the esports, uh, Guild Wars 2 esports Reddit. Control from Team formerly Jesus vs once, but now really nice guys RMG. Zadarok Incentive, also known as Gabe, uh, also from the esport clan, and Aiden Frost from the. Uh, I think he's actually on a team, but I can't. He's remember. on a uh, team Lost, actually with God. Uh, so they are teammates, stacking the deck right here on Blue Team. <laughs> So a lot of uh, cool community members in here today. I'm excited to see how these games go, uh, especially seeing what builds that people pull off on the new map. Absolutely, and don't forget, these guys are communicating via TeamSpeak through the Guild Wars 2 Esports Clan uh, TeamSpeak. If you guys want to join, go ahead and give us a uh, hit us up in game or just post on the Reddit. We'll find you, and uh, we'll bring you into the fold here. Uh, let me just bring down the music a second. Uh, there we go. All right, so we're just waiting for the players to start. Um, of course, we have a brand new map. Let's go over some of the features of this since this is brand new. All of the points are named by letters, so it's not confusing at all. Red starts in the top and uh, blue starts in the bottom. And in the very center, we have Last the sky hand. It's or basically an orbital cannon, or not really orbital, a floating cannon above this sort of city area where you can strike down with righteous fury upon Long anywhere on the map. Point. So let's uh, see where people are headed. Uh, we're seeing the splits here. We're seeing a very a normal one person to home, and everyone rush mid. Let's see who's going towards the uh, Skyhammer, Sean. 
So heading up to Skyhammer, doesn't look like anyone's quite there yet. We have Blue popping up, known for that, against Control. So we're going to have a little bit of a Guardian fight right there. But Red God's going to come give him back up. This, this point is pretty crucial right here, because whoever gets this is going to be able to do massive damage like anywhere that. on the map. Blue Absolutely. The first people to take over this Skyhammer is going to be are going to be able to uh, put on pressure pretty much well, like, everywhere on the map. It is a point and click mechanic as soon as you set, uh, set the cannon to your team and then get on it, you'll be fine. Blue's having a tough time here, though. He's, he is using Hammer War. He's locking people down in chains and knocking people back. Almost got God. He's oh. got Here he's going to fall to his death, and it wasn't really worth it. And there it is. He's dead. And go to the sound words. We're going to go with Aiden Frost right now. See what's going on with this guy. He's about to get... He's capped A here. He's kind of bunkering it, but he knows that there's also uh, what seems to be Chaplin coming around here, maybe trying to do some work. Here's Chaplin. Let's go and see this fight. Chaplin's in uh, what seems to be a longbow warrior here. He's going to be going on. He's just going to run past him, run straight to the point, and not even trigger these glass panes. By the way, these glass panes, if you do step on them for at least a second, I believe, they will break under your weight, and uh, also the sky hammer will break them if they're anywhere within the vicinity, as you just saw. And the Sky Hammer did go down. Aiden popped all his arcane spells, but Chaplin's still able to take him down. If the Sky Hammer can hit, Chaplin actually was able to get off. But hopefully Zardok can um, bring him back to life here, and they will have a three v one. And that Sky Hammer just really pushing damage onto Chap. I think we also saw Harry just walk through the floor. He's probably not very familiar with this map yet. Here's God going in on Chaplin. Gonna get the stop. Here it is. There is the God, spike to the face. Aiden gets bed. up off of that and respawns. Let's see what else, where else this fight is. Nothing really going on in mid. Eugene's finally uh, got B locked down. We see Blue is gonna be the one who's got the Sky Hammer now. And the fighting is gonna be heading towards mid very soon. We have uh, Z Zadarok and Zardok rather trying to get out of the ring as fast as possible. No, gets hit by it. And God is trying to take on Eugene. Kingsley, and he's going to be met by Harry as well. Let's go in with Harry. Admittedly, he says that he's uh, pretty new to PvP, but he's willing to give it a try and willing to join in this community event, which I always like. But here comes the red team's hammer. Sean, this is not looking good for... Oh, actually, Harry gets down. Chap's actually going to get the stomp on Aiden, hopefully. Uh, he does Missed miss four. to get away. He's going to have that. Chap does have that laser just pumping down. Hopefully, going to help him out, but it looks like God will actually get the revive down to Aiden Frost with control popping that uh, look like shelter no no he just popped his uh, res shield his, knocked him off able to get the res <laughs> and now they got the pressure back on B you know, Blue's finally getting this in. I think it's just because of the fact that Blue is no longer... Blue, the player, the caster, is no longer on the point. Aiden Frost came up and decided, no, nah, you're not allowed to have that. Um, and he's joined by his faithful rock dog off the runes. But uh, Blue has been really the lead factor in Red's lead here. They're up 165 to 107, but Blue finally has the B point. Um, Blue, the player, has been the reason why they've been able to put on so much pressure and keep two points in the beginning. Now, however, it's, it's falling away. Control's going to be able to come in here, and if he gets uh, his skills in, right, let's go with Control, he'll be able to knock Blue off, and I think he just died right there. Yeah, he actually was able to knock him off. He hit him with the Banish right there, and he will be able to take control of the Skyhammer, and uh, maybe they might be able to get a three cap right here if they're able to put pressure down on C. Uh, we have Logopi versus uh, Binary right there. Absolutely, we're in with Harry right now, who is joined by a uh, chap and uh, and Eugene Kingsley, but they're being split apart here, being separated. And of course, when you're separated from your team, you can be brought down very easily. Harry again, the stomp to the face, it's going with chap. He's actually on point. He's uh, using his longbow uh, skills very effectively. He's going in with Zardok here, who's in his lich form. <laughs> And, uh, he actually uh, just took down three people actually in Lich form. You know, Power Necro doing the 3k to 5k hits just on the uh, auto attack, the Necrotic Slash. He was able to take down Harry Chap and Eugene Kingsley right there just by spamming those auto attacks. Absolutely. We see the team captain logo by John Corpening uh, getting the back cap on C. And he's going to be met very shortly by. Uh, by zero one. Let's go in with zero one from Team Lagger Tag. Let's see how uh, John deals with this. He was going to be using spear weapons, something that we've seen him use uh, many times before when playing with him. Um, he's a kind of dev who likes to play along with the uh, with the people that he knows that with the community rather. Uh, joined us in many a game, but we're seeing the hammer being used very effectively. He, this hammer can actually knock you off the map, Sean. <laughs> and it actually knocked him the wrong way. Uh, if that hit him towards the edge, he actually would have been knocked off. So, Logobi just sitting back and actually uh, kind of laughing while that hammer goes off. Gonna try and get him pulled down there. Let's see if he's able to get it off. No. 
No. <laughs> Not exactly. Logopi's gonna be met with Eugene Kingsley now. Uh, Eugene uses that that rifle skill to knock him back, but be careful. You're gonna be knocked towards the edge. Logopi going into the down state. He's uh he's probably gonna be stopped right now, and there it is. Before even using his two, that that point is definitely going to the red side. Blue team, however, is in the lead. 291, 293 to 200. Red team needs that point. We've got control. Now on the cannon for blue. Gonna be knocking away at C. Gonna be get taking on 0 1 long range artillery style. Um, let's see what else is going on here. And midpoint, we see uh, God going up against Chap. Chap falling short of his uh, jump point that he wanted to go. He's gonna go up on the uh, jump pad here. Jump pads, of course, do have a three second respawn rate. And he's gonna get on point and or just run right off and try and. <laughs> and juke away as he is uh, just getting off. Uh, let's see what he's going to do here. I think he's going to push towards A, Sean. So, I just want to point something out as well. Uh, God's known in the PvP community for this guy that loves to 1v1 everyone. He, he sits in customs for hours just trying to fight all the top players. His points right now are showing. He has 155 points. He's not been on the cannon once. This is all kills right there. He's been roaming around and taking out everyone, and uh, that's really helping out blue team right now. Absolutely, but they don't have a point right now. Blue team is locked in at 348 points. Uh, C is red team's point. They're gaining at 237 and counting. Blue team really needs to secure a point. We've got Chap over at blue A keeping Aiden Frost from keeping their point. But there it is. God secures B and they're back in this game. Control still on the cannon. Supporting I will, uh, I, Aiden Frost. Chap is in the down state. See if he can do anything. Just keep Aiden Frost from getting the stomp. And uh, nope, there it is. This is going exactly the opposite way that we thought it would go. Um, but we're also seeing a big fight over here on the northern side. Harry and Eugene going up against Zatarok and uh, God. They're going to get taken down by the cannon. Harry's trying to res. Looks like a... Okay, Chaplin finally res. I thought we had a, a four-man group after Rage quit. Luckily not the case. But um, yeah, Harry's going to be attacking a turret while he gets stomped. Oh, no, there's the two. God will come over though and finish him off and make short work of him. Let's go over to see, see what's going on. We got Logopi again taking on uh, zero one here. It's the battle for these points, but Control is helping him so much with the artillery fire from the Sky Hammer. And we do have uh, Zardok popping Lich there in mid. He's able to get off a lot of auto attacks on Chap, but unfortunately he does go down. Not going to be able to keep that pressure up. Let's see if Chaplin and Blue can deal with the blue team pressure over here. Uh, there's so much minion, there's so many minions rather running around here. Zarduck and uh, Aiden Frost and God are here. They're ready to put on pressure. But here comes Harry from behind. He's going with him. It's Guardian using a kind of semi-standard bunker build, using retreat. Uh, not something that I've seen recently, but uh, probably a solid choice there. Um, but God is just here and he's calling people out, man. He's pointing his pistols away right at people's faces and saying. I, I want you, man. Here's Aiden Frost. He's going to come in with a stomp if Harry doesn't get his two off. Um, and there it is, but he's not going to be a fool here. I, Aiden Frost could have popped that Mistborn, but he's going to be fine. Meanwhile, the fight for B is going in the favor of Blue Team. And Blue Team will win this match, no problem. It is 468 to 286. No caps for the Red Team. And it looks like Red kind of gave up on the Skyhammer. Control was winning almost every fight up there. Uh, red team, you know, the only one really pressuring it was blue. Blue just could not handle the 2v1s up there. It's really what helped blue team win this is control, being on hammer almost the whole game, 247 points, very precise lasers dropping all over the map, and blue team looks like they're going to win by about 200 points right here. All right, well, there it is. There's the blue team victory. Chaplin's finally securing C and getting the stomp in on Logopi, but that wasn't really enough. So let's, uh, let's update the, t the uh, scores here real fast and uh, take it back to our faces and talk about what we can see in their sort of adjustments for the next game here. Um, really, I'd like to see sort of uh, a little bit more, not really communication, um, <laughs> control of message me literally just now saying, was my sky hammer too much? <laughs> <laughs> not at all, my friend. Um, so we're gonna have the teams there. Uh, oh, uh, it looks like control is able to get back in. <laughs> so the teams have switched up a little bit. I mean, this will be awesome. All right. Well, the teams. Um, uh, also, blue hasn't gotten back in. He's, uh, God he's didn't get back in either. This is gonna be very interesting. We're gonna see what's going on here. But um, blue team, 
is uh, going to have an interesting time up against Red Team. Now they're up one. Remember, this is a best of five, so it's the first to three games who, to win here. Um, if you guys don't, if you, if you guys ever come on server stop and you lose your spot, don't worry. There is an overflow server called the Bashlands. There are more games, and we'll be continuing this fun after the uh, after the show finishes. So don't worry, you'll have plenty of time to to play on. Let's go back into the game. But as I was saying, Sean. Um, Really, what they need to work on is control of the cannon, because it's such a linchpin movement. Um, hold on one second. It's right, like I said, it's like the keystone in a bridge. It is what keeps your team having the ability to get put pressure anywhere. Um, and I'm just gonna tell them to ready up right now when they are, of course. Yeah, see, that's the thing. This sky hammer is so crucial right now. It's very, very strong. Uh, it does about 10,000 damage. It's undodgeable. You like you can see the ring on the ground. You can see when it's gonna shoot. So you have time to kind of get out. But if you get locked up in there, um, or if you just don't have the time to get out, you're gonna take a lot of damage because it's completely unblockable. Unless you know you pop an invulnerability skill, skill like renewed focus. Um, so that. Oops! It looks like we lost Sean for a second. Um, we'll see if he comes back, but as he was saying, the the cannon is an undodgeable move. It's a, something that sort of uh, goes on and on without, like, it does the damage that it needs to, and uh, you can't roll out of it. So uh, unless you have an un invulnerability skill, such as the Guardian Elite Renewed Focus, you're going to have a hard time dealing with it. Also, Renewed Focus has a long cooldown time, but uh, we're going to call Sean once more, see if we can get him back in. Soon. Sean, you there? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, absolutely. Sorry about that. Match yeah. is about to begin. Um, let's get into this right now. We're watching Chaplin just uh, run off the Last cliff over and over again. But uh, I'm interested. Uh oh, Hammond is actually another arena net dev. He's in. The Red team is out for blood, Sean. Oh, here we go. Chaplin called up the backup. He was not ready to lose right there. Let's see how many people are gonna actually go to Hammer this time. It looks like a lot of people rushing in. But we have, it looks like it's going to be a 2v2 on Hammer. Yeah, we're in with Chaplin now. Chaplin and Hammond, and also Psy from the red team are going in the Hammer. They realize, okay, we we know what the problem was last time. They met with a mini master though, but that mini master just fell to his death. And they're going to be fine. They're going to be able to configure that Hammer for the red team. Both teams capping their home points. Let's see what's going on in mid. Harry ran straight to mid, but he's going to be backed up by the Sky Hammer any minute now. Uh, he's being... Fought by by Zadarok here. He's uh the Lich form god, but uh he's gonna get knocked down. This is the power of the hammer, guys. This power of Sky Hammer. Look at everything going down here at C. Logopi being met by um, by Zero One here as usual. This sort of bunker fight that we're gonna see. But Logopi has a has a, a sort of interesting set of skills. He can, like most Guardian skills, there's a lot of control stuff, and control stuff can be used to your advantage. Red Team, however, has a 3 cap right now, 43 points to 12. Let's go on the hammer and see what's going on here. Uh, it looks like we have a Necro that tried to take Hammond off, but uh, Hammond's not having any of that. Meanwhile, at A, Chaplin's got that fine. Mountain Hauler tried to go in and tried to deal with it, but not really. it wasn't really enough. He gets chained down. He's going to be fought by Sai and... Uh, gonna be chased down by Chaplin as well. Meanwhile at mid, we have Zadarok versus Harry once again, and with the support of the Skyhammer, this is Red Team's game to lose right now. So, a complete reversal of what we saw last game. Uh, with the different players right now, Red is the one putting uh, pressure on the Skyhammer. Uh, after that initial win at Skyhammer, it seems like really only Rotten and Kiwi has really kept up the pressure. We do have Aiden Frost coming this time, uh, and they might be able to actually win it, get the Skyrim Hammer back, and be able to put pressure on the map, hopefully get some points, and, and get a little bit caught up, because Red Team is just dominating right now. Almost a perfect game, uh, but Blue Team did get a couple points early on. You know, you're absolutely right, Sean. Aiden Frost going into Tornado Foam, he's realizing that he's too weak to do anything here. Ron Kiwi actually getting pu pushed off there. Hammond calling for backup, though. I, I would say that communication is actually very on point for the red team. Um, realizing that Aiden Frost coming back after the heal, he's blocking all that stuff in the ice form, but uh, not going to be able to. They all pop the, uh, the Shadow Refuge. They're going to be healed. 
Uh, even though they're all on fire, it'll be fine. Blue team is like, using this moment though to get back in the game. They're gonna try and cap and try and get these points that like that red team can't because they're focused on defending like Hammer. That, and that's what Blue team, team really needs to do. They need to make sure that they put pressure on Hammer constantly so that they can abuse number advantages. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, this fight, <laughs> this fight at Hammer has been going on for so long right here. Uh, is really what's needed. But blue team, uh, they're actually doing really good. They have the numbers advantage right here. Uh, they have Hammond down. Aiden Frost, if they can get him revived or stomp on Hammond, they're gonna have him up. It's a four v one up here. They should be able to get this Hammer, no problem. Uh, and with the neutralized points, like blue team, they actually are coming back a little bit, even without the Hammer. And once they get this cannon up and running. Man, they're going to be able to make, a, a hopefully, a good comeback. We're watching a captain fight here on A. Red team is back in a 3-cap. That's because blue team put too much pressure on Hammer. That 4v1 really actually screwed them over, because that's going to take numbers away from actually keeping those points defended. They really need to find the correct balance in taking the Hammer and taking points. Um, so, Logopi here is going in on Chap. He's going to try and abuse his 5, but here it is. There it is! Oh. Logopi gets the <laughs> pull! That's like a Blitzcrank style, like, you're dead. <laughs> like, enjoy that. that. Oh, it's that very the, that good. That amazing. The blinding bait right there, just getting that pull, perfect timing of everything. <laughs> Setting Chap to his death. Here comes Harry. He's going to try and deal with Logopi. He's running a sword, sword shield build right now. Really interesting. Le the shield allows you to do a great push off and also allows you to get the teleport off on that sword really good because that means you can go straight to your opponent and then just attempt to knock them off but Logopi is having none of that he's going to be going in here we're seeing him uh he's going to do what he attempted to do yep and oh, oh no oh, so close <laughs> not a two so for one there he's uh uh harry's actually uh, dealing with him actually pretty uh pretty handily here um but nope but <laughs> there's the banish <laughs> all right let's go to hammer we're seeing si uh, hammond just got stomped Zai is up here for, uh, attempting to get uh, Aiden Frost into the down state. Here's the stealth stop. There it is. Oh, no, misformed Juke. And uh, he did not fall off. I thought he was going to roll off for a second. But um, let's see if Aiden Frost can deal anything. Nope. There's a. Did you see that? Did you yeah. see that? <laughs> I guess that animation was really interesting. It was coming in from a weird uh, whatever. But there's the red team. They're going to have the hammer again. They're, look at how uh, ahead they are. Um, 357 to 74 points right now. Blue team doesn't have a single point. They're two capped with a uh, without income basically. So let's see what's going on here. We have Rotten Kiwi trying to take C and he'll do it if his zero one doesn't get back on point. Almost decapped here. If you notice on um, the actual points, there's a clock to see how far decapped they are and how far capped they are. That's sort of just like a pie animation. Let's see if Rotten Kiwi can take out zero one. He's gonna be helped by Logo Pie and his spirits and also Mountain uh, Mountain Holler Red. Hunter Hollerid. Um, so they have a little problem with the name. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> the Never seen this person before. But uh, red team has this camera. This is gonna be so terrible for blue team because they're all here. They're all gonna be taken down. They need to get out. Mountain Hall realizes that. Realizes this. Let's see what Logopi does here as the catch, and he's gonna be back on the point as a, just a matter of time before the hammer goes off on them again. Hammond is back on point. Actually, Hammond rotates it. He's gonna take it to A where uh, Chaplin and Harry are. He's gonna try and deal with Aiden Frost and Zardok, but uh, not really the optimal choice blue in my team opinion. Grab the capture point. Yeah, maybe not, but Did you see that? I don't know. <laughs> Red Team is just doing such a fantastic job with holding two to three points at once. They're kind of just roaming all over. Blue Team's trying a, a lot harder to actually bunker down points um, without really getting any roaming support. So the Red Team kind of zerging around in small groups. They're able to take down the bunkers, cap the points, and then just move on. And it's really, Blue's having a hard time recovering, um, especially with almost the constant pressure from Red Skyhammer. That's, uh, we're, we're now on Skyhammer. We're looking at Zadrog doing what I think he needs to have been Just doing like the entire that. time. Um, also, I think point. we've got a Rage Quitter. Someone Rage Quit. Sky, oh, it was uh, Mountain Holly. Rage Quit from Blue Team. Um, but he's doing something that uh, every team should kind of have. They have a, a roaming Necro that can peel off from team fights and just go put pressure on the on the hammer. Really, that's pretty optimal, in my opinion, at least. Um, and look, you're going to see this hammer t knock down everyone. Aiden Frost is going to be fine on the midpoint because he has the support. Um, let's just let everyone know. Uh, let's let someone join the blue team here. Um, we have a rage quit. 
But um, yeah, we're seeing Chaplin. He's on. He's down on on B. Let's kind of watch what's going on. He's actually capping the point because Aiden Frost Red died off point. Um, Red team finally gets that point up again, and there's actually a, a, a kind of a moment point. there where Red had a chance of being locked out, but there's Hammond back on the turret and uh, Logopi back capping A. Let's see what's going on at C. There's a Red cannon. Ron Kiwi is just down on that point. I think he's actually straight up dead, but he looks like he's got a little bit of health left. Uh, that's just a bug, I guess. Um, we're gonna watch. Let's go on with Sai. Uh, Steve rolling around here. He he seems to be like a, a roamer type, trying to really put on the aggression as much as possible all over the map. But there it is, a 500 points, a 172 point win for the red team. We're one one, Sean. Yeah, uh, finally Chaplin actually. He was mad. He didn't like losing. He came back with a vengeance, and uh, got a little backup from Hammond. And they were really able to put pressure back on the logo pie and uh, and bring it to a one one. So this is best of five. Each uh, team would have to win another two games to be able to take this series. Absolutely. Let's join the spectator mode and see what has uh, gone down. Uh oh, power we need um Nope, I'm gonna. We gotta kick some people, unfortunately. So I'm gonna. I'm I gonna think the bottom. Uh, yeah, we're gonna ha unfortunately uh, so make spectator, and I'm sorry, God. And blue. Captain, see your team. Oh. Come on, heaven. Uh no, yeah, heaven for it, or uh, someone on blue team. Can't right click his name. Come on. So we're just waiting for the the captains to get in here. Oh man, my white ballast has gone off. There we go. All right, let's uh, have them ready up whenever. Ready when you are. Let's get into the game. All right, so on red team, we have power playing a necro. We have control on his guardian. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. Um, <laughs> this looks like a really stacked team right here. <laughs> and we have uh, zero one from lagger tag. Oh my god. Uh, should we I'm, should we reroll? No, no. We'll, we'll keep going. This is a uh, looks like a good game though. This is going to be pretty epic, or it could just be a stomp. But also on the blue team, don't forget, we have Aiden Frost from uh, Team Lost. Yes? Yeah, Team Lost. Team Lost. We got blue. Blue's good on this map. Um, we have Sai, who did a lot of roaming work, like I was trying to say at the end of the last game. We got They Hate Me. Um, he's a guy from the Esport clan that, uh, he's a, I think he's a veteran of the show. We've got our Captain Logo Pie. Um, let's see who's ready and who's not. We're just waiting on... Uh, we're just waiting on these guys to sort of get into it. Um, so, like you said, we've got a we got an interesting match here. What? Um, I mean, we all it was pretty obvious, I guess, what Red Team did to kind of get that game so dominantly. It was all hammer control and just and the Romeo power and the Romeo power. Absolutely, yeah. they were. They didn't really stay on a point. Once they captured a point, they didn't leave anywhere that uh, anyone there to protect it. They moved as a team. They wanted to get the numbers. Um, it was like you know, it was a zerg. It was definitely, but it was like a bunch of small zergs with communication. Um, blue team. They didn't really have the a good enough communication when they had a bunker to be like, hey, I really need help. So it ended up being a whole bunch of one v threes, one v twos, and uh, red team was just able to take every point. Absolutely. You know, also what I noticed a lot was that Red Team was having the just... Hammond could, like, call for backup pretty much any time, and then just someone would come and help him on the hammer, and it really secured him in for, like, most of the game, um, which locked in pretty much everything for for them here. But uh, I'm excited to see this. You know, we don't have the, the necro power that we normally see on these teams, we, but we have a double necro on the... Well, we do have a Necro Power, I guess. <laughs> we have Power playing a Necro um, on the Red Team. This is gonna. I, I have a, I, my fear is that Red Team takes this like just straight up, 
and it's like a 500 to, to not even a 100 point game simply because of their team comp and their abilities as shown last time and control of course is not one to be reckoned with he's one of like the strongest guardians in the game like at least uh, we do have two players that really really like rushing uh hammer uh blue blue on uh the blue team and still. then control on red team so we're gonna have the two hammer players uh, and it's really going to be who gets the most backup that's really going to decide the first Last hammer because I bet both of those players are going to rush there right at the very beginning. Yeah, we're going to follow control here. We're going to have a little bit of fun. Um, we'll see where he goes. But, uh, yeah, man, Hold this is going to be points. pretty interesting to Seats see there. the sort of things going on. I mean, a little bit of rubber banding. That's okay. Uh, control seems to be going towards mid, though. Yeah, he's going to be I guess that was wrong. <laughs> did not rush the hammer this game. You weren't wrong, however, about Blue. He's trying to lock down Power. Power using his Elite for Flesh Golem. And then here comes Chaplin to support him. This is not going to be good for Blue. Um, if he doesn't support him. But here comes Psy. Uh, Blue's going around popping up all the pains here. He's going to try and knock people into it with his shield. No go. Chaplin can be put knocked in. No, there's the respawn on it. There's the hate me coming in, going into mist form, trying to do something. The map might be hurricane. Oh, form. and they do get the fear off on power. He is taken off the map. Oh, they have amazing. four people up at the sky hammer, but blue team is able to get it. We're gonna see blue jumping down, start shooting some lasers. Absolutely, you know Logopi, who is. I, who has every single game gone to far point? Also, Blue entirely misses with his laser, by the way. But um, Logopi has gone straight to far point at every single time and has put up so much pressure on. Blue team doesn't have their point though. They don't have their home. They don't have mid, and they've got uh, they hate me trying to deal some damage. I think that was Aiden Frost uh, over that? there, but he uh, yeah he got knocked off the back. Point. Uh, let's see what's going on. Uh oh, there's a fight at Hammer. Let's see what happened to Blue here. He's trying to deal with uh, power. Powers in the uh, seems to be in the corner. He gets knocked out of the Death Shroud form, but he's going to fear blue, blue a little bit. Try and roll around. There's a uh, oh, Here comes a fear. I can totally see it coming for blue. But no, here's Psy to come in. Popping the Death Shroud. Almost got that banish. Did miss the animation, though. Oh, man. Here comes the chains, making sure the power can't run away. Popping the Flesh Golem. The Flesh Golem will try and deal with them here. Try and keep blue occupied. But meanwhile, Logopi got killed on the far point. Not able to take C4 himself. But Just Aiden like Frost that. finally blue gets A for the blue team. Point. He's going to roam off. Let's follow him and see where he goes. I think he's heading either straight for cannon or straight for mid here. And just to give you an update, Blue was actually able to kill Power in a 1v1 uh, at the Hammer. And Blue will be back on the laser. Amazing. We got Control and Chaplin here fighting off Psy and Aiden Frost. Aiden Frost popping up the Fire Shield. Uh, he's going to be going in on Chaplin, trying to keep him distracted while Psy runs around and rolls around, popping that 3 key. Spamming that 3 key, rather. Here comes Blue's lasers, though. And uh, They Hate Me is coming in to join the fight as well. Let's see. They should really take that fight. Um, Closer to mid, where Logopi is, or um, even Hammer, yeah. <laughs> fighting in the middle of the of the map really doesn't do anything for either team. Uh, kind of protects Hammer a little bit, I guess, but it's not going to do do too much. Blue team a really strong Hammer control this game, but unfortunately they're missing a lot of the lasers. It's really not helping them too much. Besides, it's actually probably worse for them because they're losing a member of their team and not really getting the lasers off. Absolutely. We're in with Logo Pie, the captain for uh, John, John Corbin, captain for Blue Team. Um, he's actually doing a great job against Onia Thorn, but uh, not being able to quite do the damage he needs to keep the point. Here comes the hate me. Hey, hey, I mean, he needs to come and support him. Meanwhile, at the cannon, we've got Aiden Frost in blue. There's the knockoff on power. See you later. Blue Cannon is operational. Um, and there's a stomp on Onia Thorn. Here comes Chaplin trying to get mid, but there's three members of the blue team here. Control's trying to help as well. You know, let's see what's at C. Really nothing. Just 0-1. Captain that point. Let's go in with Psy, who's doing a lot of rolling work, doing lots of evading. Chaplin's about to go down. He, uh, everyone's missing him, trying to get some last hits on him. Let's follow him as he kind of jumps down to the well. <laughs> comes back up using the jump pad, really juking everyone back and forth. But Psy is... Psy just cannot get this kill right here. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Aiden comes in, he does get the uh, air 5 off, or sorry, the air 3 off, and is able to kill him. And here's the stomp from Psy, finally knocking down Chaplin, finally killing him, forcing the respawn. Um, 
But there's a fight going on here at the cannon again. Blue is down. Let's go in with blue and see what's going on. Aiden Frost trying to res powers up here. When you have thorns up here, Sai is up here. There's a finally that two managed to push people back, and there's a shadow refuge power doing so much damage. Look at that. Those flies flying around. That's of course a necro skill popping the. Oh no! Power gets knocked off or kind of walks off. Right in the corner, right there too. That one corner spot, man, can kill you so much if you're not really paying attention. Blizz back on the laser. Beast, you only want the point. Looks like zero one is back to his point, facing off against Logopi in a classic battle for the ages as usual. Meanwhile, we got Control taking out A. Aiden Frost gonna be fine. Control's gonna juke around the back. No, he's gonna come back. Let's go in with him. See what's going on. If see if he'll try and use that uh, great sword five. He's rolling hammer. See if he can try and get the advantage off for the chains. Um, yeah, he's going in for the banish. Nope. Hints him into the pillar. Uh, the rubber bands a little bit, but here's the change. He's going to try and do damage right now. And I just want to point out how close this game actually is right now. 207 to 219. We kind of expected this game to be a complete stomp. Uh, power, you know, rank 60, one of the best players in the game. Uh, zero points right now. He's tried so hard just to control that trap. Or, sorry, the Skyhammer. Almost every time he spawns, he rushes Skyhammer, and he just has not had the backup of his team, and he's been, you know, 3v1-ing, 2v1-ing, and, and constantly dying, but now he finally has control of the hammer, already 15 points off, of, like, one shot, so let's see what he's able to do with this. Yeah, Blue Team realizes that power is just too strong up there in that hammer, There's, however, fear crippling so much conditions right at that door because power knows he's gonna get hunted down Logopi in here trying to get the bandage whiffs it uh, gonna walk into the fear wall a little bit and he's out oh no oh no Sean uh oh no oh, there it is. He did chain feared into the wall right there he wasn't able to get away and just being feared and stuck on that glass pane dropped him straight down let's see oh, if the same shit. thing happens to the blue nope there he oh. is <laughs> he's able to survive right there yeah he's gonna try blue and uh, just scepter down power power is not gonna have any of it those these uh, minions are doing a lot of work extra damage of course from extra bodies is always helpful death shroud goes up for power blues like no uh we gotta see him uh, go in there needs to be some sort of thing uh oh fear he's so close to the wall he's so no he gets feared he goes down that might actually just save him he needs to stomp on he needs to do his two on power knocks him back it needs support here. He's going to die if he does nothing. Here comes the stomp, and Blue is dead. And that terror damage is just insane. And when you get those chain fears going on, uh, the traded fear oh. with all your other conditions, it's just nasty. Logo Pi just got knocked off the map barely by Sank, by, uh, by Control. Chaplain and Control are on A trying to take on the Hate Me. And uh, what used to be Logopi, Chaplin is now down. The Hate Me needs to get the stomp and deal with control, but it's not going to happen. Actually, he has stability. Uh, no, he goes down. Oh, Red Team Laser just coming a second too late. Still able to get uh, They Hate Me. Chaplin goes down, but uh, control should be. Oh, <laughs> oh he misforms off. Bad choice. Um, so let's see what's going on here. It looks like we got either Blue or Logopi in here. It's Blue. Of course, Blue going in on the. Uh, actually retreating from the hammer realizing they need points this game is going on in the three cap fashion that we thought it would in the beginning wow um so much red laser going on right now man i actually missed it logo pie just got a banish off uh and the spirit shield not back which back to back completely throws control like 30 feet from the middle of a point all the way off the point it was fantastic that's amazing but we've also got a fight here at the mid or at the mid cannon. Power's going up against Blue and Aiden Frost. They realize how much they need this, but they're not going to get it. This is really an unwinnable, unwinnable game for Blue. Uh, in both senses of the word Blue, Aiden Frost retreating. Blue gets the stomp. There it is. He's going to configure the cannon for his team. That, if they can get the three cap, as always. But here comes Control going to the Sky Hammer. And, oh my god. It's uh, knocked back, almost gets knocked off. Let's go in with Control, see what's going on here. Let's see if the Guardian fight between Control and Blue. Looks like there's a Banish. He ends up hitting the Control console, though. He gets ringed in. That might actually save him. And they're actually almost running identical builds. They're both running uh, Hammer, Scepter, Shield. The same exact utilities. <laughs> so this is definitely uh, pretty interesting. Uh-oh, we see Sai coming in here, almost got taken out by the, the window pane. Um, power's up here now, too. A lot of stuff going on here. We need to go to the eye point because there's just so much action going on. Now, let's go in with power. He's in, the, he's in his uh, Death Shroud form. He's going to be if, triggering all these pains, see if he can fear off. Oh, the Control gets banished off by Blue right there. 
Uh, I think that Aiden Frost either yeah, Aiden Frost must have died too. But there's the win from the red team, 504 to 280. Wow, Control actually <laughs> doing a lot of work. Um, uh, Power had to be so happy right there. He finally was able to get to the point <laughs> with backup. <laughs> Well, you know, it doesn't really matter how you get there, as long as you get there in Just the end. Like that, but, um, this is, point. it's going to be 2-1 to one right now. Let's uh, update the scoreboard. Uh, but yeah, man, how do you, what do you think Blue can do to come back this next game? Uh, so they, they were doing really good. They had uh, great hammer control as well as point control in the beginning. Really kept them on par. But when they started losing uh, the hammer, they decided to focus all the resources towards uh, the hammer instead of points, and that really, really put them behind. Absolutely. Now we're going to see uh, a stronger composition, I think, in terms of players from the blue team. We got They Hate Me, Corrupted, Logopi, Oni and Thorn, and now Power is on the blue team. Going to be a little uh, traitorous here, but he's going to do a great job. Going to bring this to a... a a farther series. Now we've got Control, Hammond, Zadarok, Chaplin, and God, God damn, man, that's a lot. A uh, lot of good I, people. I think, you know, if if Chaplin wins this, he wins the best, uh, best he, wins, he wins the series. Yeah. Uh, this team definitely looks a little stacked right now. God, top points when he played. Control, well, top points when he played. Zadarok, Really, really good in those team fights with the Necrotic Strike and Lich form. And then you got, you know, both Chaplin and Hammond. Absolutely. Aiden Frost now joining Blue Team as well. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be one of the best games I've ever seen, I bet. Power on Blue Team, though, so hopefully that helps out. You know, Aiden Frost did do amazing. Uh, he was really, really crucial in the hammer control uh, the beginning of last game. So, having him and Power probably working together to keep that hammer, that should help him. <laughs> that should definitely help him. Absolutely. Um, we're seeing just a little, a few ways. Let's see who's not ready up. We got God, Zadarok, and Chaplin not ready, Aiden Frost, and Onia not ready. Um, it's a little bit of, of uh, chat going back and forth. Let's uh, see what's going on here in terms of builds, I guess. Should we do that, or should we keep them secret for the now, uh, players? Uh, yeah, we're, we're, let's not go over too many builds right here. Alrighty. Again, we want to respect the players' soon. wishes as much as possible. Right now, a lot of people are running exper experimental stuff, a lot of people are running really derpy stuff. So, uh, And some people are just in straight-up clown, clown mode. So, um, <laughs> right, The game is about to start. It is your last chance to nail down strategy. And uh, we're kind of watching the split here. Logopi, though, is kind of standing at the uh, the waypoint. There he is. He's going to go. He's going to go far, I think. Let's watch the split. We haven't done that since the first game. Uh, looks like two, three mid for it. Nope. This is going to be an interesting fight here, Karen. Let's see what's going on. Who pops out first? It's power. Let's go in with power. Popping that fear wall, realizing that people might just run right into it. He's going to be met with Hammond and Chap. This is an A net battle to the death here. So that? many Red arena net logos here. Um, but he's being sandwiched right now just by Chap and Hammond. Blue doing a lot of work. But there's a, a knockback. Let's see what else is going on here. Oh, the fear. Not able to get him, though. Oh, my God. He's in the death form, but here comes another per nope, it's just Chaplin. Uh, he gets netted down, he's standing on top of that plane of glass. It did not trigger though. It hasn't broke. He's gonna pull off, gonna try and keep people away, but uh, th this cannon is totally reds right now. Uh, uh, no, Aiden Frost goes no, up to I join him. And that's kind of the prediction I made. I, you know, Aiden Frost was crucial in all the fights prior to this, so I definitely expected to see him uh, on the point. He did come just in time, able to help him, but look at the health bars of everyone on blue team. They hate me dead. Logopi, dead. Onita, dead. Really, really, uh, really bad for blue team right there. Absolutely, that team just wiped him. That may cost him a lot, but Power is still fighting. He's not going to give up. Hammond's turned back here. Control is here, and Chaff is here. This is a group I would not want to meet in a back alleyway, man, because they will oh. destroy you. He's in the down state. He's trying to fear someone off and get a res. Uh, looks like Chaplin's trying to leave. Control is trying to get him. Hammond's trying to get him. This is not a good fight right now. 
for power. Um, the Hate Me catches to come in and save him, but he's going to get knocked down too. He's going to try and miss. He's going to miss through the gate here. If he get, Nope, he goes down. Let's see what else is going on for the blue team. They're fighting here at mid. Uh, God and what seems to be Zadarok are going to do a lot of damage. Uh oh, here comes the Sky Hammer. The, uh, most of the blue team is here at mid, man. And there's a laser. You gotta get out of there. You gotta deal with their side points if you're if someone's shooting at the mid. But then again, he can just target you down as you run. Let's go in with, uh, with Chap and see what's going on here. He's at A, trying to take Blue's only point. This might be a three cap, man. Yeah, I think so. They were able to get the uh, the capture on B. Aiden Frost is dead. Logo Pilot's dead. Onita is going down. Man, every time I look at those health bars for blue team, I'm just seeing death and death and death. And it's really showing, uh, if you pull up the scoreboard, you see so many points on red team. Blue team, not so much. They have about two capture, or one new, one capture. Uh, it's almost zero kills. I don't think, oh, there we go. Control did die on red team. Uh, so they, they are getting a little bit more points right now. But Seeing the three cap, Hammond's up here on the cannon. But he's about to die. Power gets knocked back. He manages to jump. Hammond is about to go down here. He's a bit poisoned, but uh, power popping that for him. There's the down state from Hammond. He's going to go Blue in for the stomp, and he's going to get it. Point. There it is. Blue team finally gets the cannon. They can come back in this game now. Logopi going in uh, on the home point. You're going to run for far like normal. Uh, supported by your spirit weapons Sky and stuff. But um, uh oh, here comes some more red. Probably going to join power up in this fight very soon or no let's see what's going what's going on with chaplain what's going on chaplain there's a fight outside the Asura gate with they hate me and uh i will lead you all supporting chap but here's him this is a 3v1 for, on they hate me really gang up here he's in the mist form he's gonna run straight to hammer and lead the fight to power which is not something he needs to do no he actually pops up here aiden frost turns the fight this is gonna be an epic team fight here we're in with chaplain he's gonna be bowling people down here comes zedarok it's a 4v2 here blue needs to come in and support their guy where is logo pie right now he's over uh He's actually under them. He's going to come up and try and get them from below. And uh, he's uh, actually, no, he's running around the back. <laughs> 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 Never mind. He's here on B with Onia Thor and they're dealing with control. This is going to be just fine. Oh, of course, power. Oh, no. What the hell happened there? Power and just, actually, just walked check, off. Check out the points right now. Blue is able to completely, they're, they're making a comeback right here. They have two points, almost three. Zadarok with his lich form able to take down Onita might be able to take down uh, Logopi as well. The damage is just insane when not focused down. You know we, what we saw from Power was just like a straight up like derp. I have no words. <laughs> I have zero. He just. I guess I, I I must have missed a fight or something. He may have been locked down. I couldn't tell. But from what I saw, he just stood there on the pane and waited for it to, to kind of fall. And that's that's weird. But we got red team taking A. They're about to take C. And B is a fight that will not go in Blue's favor because red is just knocking it down. They need to peel off and deal with it. But there it is. Logo Pie realizing this. Going in up against Zarok and Hammond. But Power is here too. Let's go in with Power again. See what he's going to do. Hopefully he doesn't walk off. Once, once again, these pains are being triggered here. He can get feared or he can fear. Let's see what happens. Hammond gets interrupted. Knocked down. And there's Logo Pie in as well. He's going to try and... He really needs to try and use his Greatsword 5 here and get those chains down but it's gonna tune right now for the blue team this they are able to get that uh, laser back up and running for them uh, so that should be able to put up a little pressure uh, Hammond might be able to stop it for a little bit but ultimately unless they get more back up blue should definitely have the sky hammer online pretty soon absolutely here comes Hammond let's watch this fight some more uh, actually let's go to the mid fight here it seems to be a red dominated thing here only at Thor is on point but uh, they hate me is mist forming into the um, are attempting to miss form into the surrogate didn't quite make it. Sky Hammer's finally going for blue. Onita Thorn's gonna get this. Blue team, however, loses their home point. Chaplin's capping it. it. Looks like we lost Aiden Frost, who is trying to defend the home. And meanwhile, power is being taken on by Hammond and Zadarok. So <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Knocked out by the flesh goal on the plane. Double fear. Oh my god. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Power's gotta be smiling right now. 
that right there, man. That's the power of a Necro on this map. Only a Thorn really needs to get on point and take that as fast as possible, though. Looks like, let's go to C. There's no one there. Uh, Chaplin's fighting Aiden Frost over at A. Let's go with Aiden. Like He's that. up. Got the height advantage. He's point. gonna pop down, try and do some spells on Chaplin do in that lightning form. And here comes the tornado. He's gonna try and do so much damage here using those uh, elemental effects. Meanwhile, we got Blue here being supported by the Hammer Control, and I will lead you all. Uh, are gonna is gonna try to keep blue only a thorn you need to get on point before the cat <laughs> no she doesn't manage it she um, gets knocked off point not quite uh, optimal there we're also gonna see uh, Zatarok incentive taking on the um, looked like to be a hate me and knocking him off let's go back to BC what's going on only a thorns in the death shroud hammer is dropped control is incoming and so is God and they're gonna be able to get the stop no problem unless no nope, there it that? is Red team got and uh, <laughs> the blind from God on that flamethrower to secure that stomp not being pulled down. Uh, again, that leaderboard, man. God loves to kill people, and he's really been doing that this game. I will leave you all just killing everyone uh, with Red his knockback build. You know, I, I would even argue that a majority of the points in this game come from kills and not from from capture points. <laughs> because there's so much going on. Look at, look at they hate me. He's on the cannon right now, taking on Chap. Uh, power is on in the side, trying to get the fears off, but Chap is not going to have any of that. Here comes Hammond. Um, they're going to duo it. Blue team is actually in the is actually in the lead in terms of caps. Like they have the only cap point, but um, they need to keep that for about four or five minutes <laughs> in order to come back. There's there's a second one. This is actually very good. Uh-oh, going with power. He might get knocked down. No, he gets uh, he goes off at the very last second. He's going to get off the cannon as well. Um, let's see what else is going he on. He actually had that spectral bot. He was able to pop it before he got knocked down, stunned on the pillar, or on the platform. Right when the platform shattered, he was able to use the spectral walk recall and get out of there. Uh, so frustrating when it's not you, but when you're the necro and you pull a cool move like that, uh, it feels really good. We're seeing Hammond and Chaplin here get still in the fight. They hate me is trying to deep down Chaplin. There finally is. Uh, Hammond is still here doing lots of work, but now C is finally back in the hands of the red team. I will lead you all 1v1ing everyone to death. They need to... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Excuse me. God taking on Aiden Frost almost knocked him off. Let's go in with God. Um, and watch what's going on here. They're trying to decap Red C point. That's not exactly going to happen. Zatarok Incentive is here in his, uh, in his death shroud. So many skills going down. Logopi almost knocked down on top of that. There's the... No, there's not the stomp. That's the great the Guardian 2 in the down state. Going with Logopi. Can he save himself? No, he gets deeps down. Red team has this point secure. Blue team needs to get the hammer back. Control is going to take B if Oni and Thorn goes down. And there's Chaplin with the stomp on him. But here comes the cannon. Nope, not in time to save Onietta. But here comes they hate me. Can he do anything here with the support of Aiden Frost? We'll see. Let's go in with Aiden Frost, man. Man, it seems like these games will really just snowball. They'll be really even, you know, early and mid game, but then late game. You have one team who just can take control of everything, uh, and it really just snowballs in their favor. Absolutely. The red team's going to win this right now. They finally got B, and there it is. There's the best of five. Sean. Chaplin taking it to Logo Pie. Wow, three to one right there. It was, it was all good games. This was actually very close. Um. Red team did a great job, but so did blue team. The scoreboard, see 260 for for God, and that's like way above anyone else in this game. <laughs> but, um, that was amazing. Sai wants to go for our best of ten. Um, we're gonna see what's going on I think here. Chap said he's done. Chap's done. If Chap's done, then we're done. Um, so guys, thank you very much for watching another episode of Service Stop. It's our eighth one. We've been at it for over two months now. It's, it's amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, go to inanimates.com, check out the site, join the community, be a part of the Guild Wars 2 esports community. You can do that into the mist. You can watch videos there. You can do so much stuff. There's skill calculators, so you can theory craft like crazy. Don't hesitate to go out there. We're gonna like watch these players go at it for a little while. They'll, they'll just have fun. But don't forget, you can join the server right now. Even though this show is pre-recorded, these servers are up 24-7. Join the community um, and just stomp on and have fun. Also, go to red.com slash r slash gw2esports uh, for great daily discussions. And to check out what else is going on in Hammerfest, join us for everything that's going on, including the scrims, 
excuse me, and uh, the rest of this fun weekend. Very special thank you guys to um, to everyone at Ana who participated, especially to to John Corpening and to Jonathan Sharp, Chaplin and Logopi, to um, to Hammond and to Power, and also to Ali Murdoch who helped us arrange all of this. Thank you so much, and guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to win 800 gems. You can like, comment, and subscribe in this video, and I'm done plugging, so thank you guys for watching. Hey, thanks guys.